Tonight, Detroit's top cop has a strong message for those people pulling pranks with costumes like that right there. Seven investigator Jim Kirchner joins us live from downtown with new information on the chief's plan to deal with clowns. Jim? Yeah, Stephen, wearing a clown suit to commit an armed robbery or an assault, obviously serious. But what about wearing a suit just to scare people? Is that a gray area? We are all watching this. And here, they are not laughing. Uh, just know that uh, when people call us, we're going to investigate. And if the investigation leads to a criminal misconduct of some sort, then we're going to take appropriate action. Just look around. The creepy clown fad is growing here in Metro Detroit. Yesterday, a nine-year-old boy claims he was assaulted by a man wearing a clown suit in Sterling Heights and then ran away. Police here also confirmed they were called by two women at 17 Mile and Ryan being chased by three people wearing clown suits and carrying baseball bats. Then in Brownstown Township, downriver Detroit, an armed robbery of a Walgreens by a clown. And in the Ann Arbor area, two more armed robberies of a gas station and pizza parlor by clowns. If we get a call from a community member that says there's a clown uh, that's been making threatening gestures, that's enough for us to at least investigate and detain. Maybe it doesn't rise to the level of a crime, uh, but we certainly have a right to stop and detain. And the chief says they will follow up on any call they get. They will go out, they will detain, and then they will review to see where they're at. Obviously, if this happens to you, get, a, get your cell phone out. Take some pictures or video. And the message from the chief, don't clown around with us. Live downtown, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Jim, whoever thought we'd be reporting on clown attacks right now? Yeah, and they're just a growing number, aren't they? It's amazing. Jim, thank you for that report. We'll keep uh, an eye on the situation.